Um, was the condition where we, we need to stop uh, chemotherapy if the patient had infection. So uh, chemotherapy will, will cause immunosuppression. So uh, if the patient develop a fever or uh, develop infection, you have to stop chemotherapy and you treat the infection uh, to avoid a septic, septic shock. Uh, if patient had brief chemotherapy given within 10 days to two weeks, because the side effect of the brief chemotherapy will affect the new uh, cycle of chemotherapy, unless this is planned. For example, in Hodgkin lymphoma, the chemotherapy will be given every two weeks, but uh, this is an exception. Most of the chemotherapeutic uh, agent given within uh, three weeks. Uh, some chemotherapy given weekly, but the treatment was given weekly, usually with low uh, dose. So uh, uh, it's not uh, absolute contraindication for chemotherapy uh, unless uh, it is, is, uh, uh, is bland. Uh, again, leukopenia and thrombocytopenia, if patient develop uh, either of those, it's better to uh, hold chemotherapy and support the patient to avoid major bleeding or septic shock. If the patient is uh, debilitated, uh, his nutrition is bad, and he's not tolerating the chemotherapy, it's better to uh, postpone it and support the patient either by parental nutrition or uh, proper uh, nutrition till he became uh, uh, capable of receiving uh, chemotherapy. Uh, pregnancy is not contra is not absolute contraindication for uh, uh, chemotherapy. It can be given uh, chemotherapy can be given uh, in the third trimester safely uh, in most of the uh, cases. Uh, uh, but it is uh, advised to afford chemotherapy in the first trimester, and also uh, it's it is uh, advised to avoid anti-metabolite. Uh, chemotherapy at any stage of, of, of pregnancy. Other than that, the chemotherapy can safely given in the third trimester. And nowadays also uh, some institutions they start giving chemotherapy a second trimester. Um, major surgery within two weeks, you know, after surgery patient will require uh, protein and he need to, infection is common at this period, uh, bleeding also is coming this period, so it's better to delay chemotherapy till uh, one month of, of, uh, of surgery. Uh, if the patient is not compliant, if he's living far away, is not ready to come to the hospital, there is no local support, it's not fair to give the patient uh, very toxic medication without support. So if the patient is willing to have chemotherapy, he has to live around a healthcare provider in a way that he gets supported uh, uh, if, if needed. At the same time, we need some surgical support for patient to uh, uh, tolerate uh, chemotherapy and uh, its toxicity. Uh, 